Richard, I'm back here once more. Good to be with you, folks. Just ignore the thunder and <laughs> the Peter Patter outside. Not so much the Peter Patter, more like a thunderstorm. All right, that time of the year, late afternoon, we get a lot of it here in Malaysia. So anyway, let's take a vape, boys. Oh yeah, if you're into cloud chasing with tons of airflow, this might just be the thing for you. Features top and bottom airflow that hits your coil from the top and also the bottom as well. And we're going to be taking a look at the Anzu RDA by UD. Oh yeah, please excuse the fog guys, when you have an RDA like that, I'm definitely fogging up the room. Anyway, hopefully I'm still in focus. <laughs> 22 millimeters diameter RDA, and also measures 30 millimeters in height with a juice well that's measuring 4.5 millimeters deep. Okay, velocity style deck in there that comes with four 2.5 millimeter post holes using uh, flathead screwdriver grub screws stainless steel 510 drip tip but this one it's also included in the box as well i'm using the delrin drip tip which is a 12 millimeter diameter white ball delrin drip tip it's got these uh, spirals on the uh, delrin drip tip like i said please excuse the thunderstorm going on outside it's crazy every other afternoon well i like it because it keeps the weather cool anyway coming back also you've got two millimeter and there's four all together on the base here, those air holes at the bottom, and they've got it on both sides at the base, okay? Right on top of the barrel there, you've got one millimeter by 10 of these air holes that's on top on the uh, top cap here. So on both sides, there's the same. So you've got tons of airflow on this, okay? And if you want better flavor, you can actually close down the air holes. Uh, so you get a more restricted, uh, what do you call, uh, airflow, and you get better flavor. I've just got a dual coil in here using 22 gauge wires and it's coming up to 0.2526 uh, ohms firing it at about 63.5 um, watts okay uh, these are three millimeter diameter coils so nevertheless I'm going to take another vape now just to show you the amount of uh, vapor this can produce let's dive in right now Take a close-up look of the Enzu RDA. Come back, we'll vape some more, and I'm going to leave you with my thoughts. Catch you later. Like Enzu printed on top, picture of the device, UD unification of design, and a little sticker here that says standard. Wanna wonder what it means by that? Probably meant a stainless steel version. QR code, scratch and check authenticity on the side here. Unification of design, Enzu again, same logo underneath. Enzu features tells you all the features about. How good the uh, device is, parameters which are your specs, diameter, length, post hole size, depth of the juice well, which is 4.8 millimeters in depth. I thought it was 4.5. Anyway, around there. And you have your coil structure here. This is to show you how the airflow works from the bottom and also from the top here to hit your coil directly right in front. Okay. Uh, some certification markings there and also a barcode shake it a little bit and uh, it's it comes plastic shrink wrap by the way so once you've broken up the plastic lift up the cover and you have a little card here that says composition what's the whole device made of by the way the device is made from stainless steel 304 two velocity style posts and uh, unique features of the device unique airflow intake directly blows onto coils without leaking adjustable dual airflow design allows both massive clouds and crisp flavor simple and intuitive design allowing many creative builds so there you go all right so you have in here a delrin drip tip which measures 12 millimeters in diameter and i can't get it out with my fingers i um, unless i get a good grip of it i'll just loosen up the hole all right so that's your delrin drip tip here held on by two rings in there you can see the spiral going on to give you a better flavor, all right? That's how the Delrin drip tip looks like. Bag of spares here for your O-rings, screws, and things like that, as usual. And let's give it a tug 
the ribbon there and out come your device also comes with a stainless steel drip tip as well let's zoom in a little bit closer so the Enzo RDA here with your drip tip removable and that's your 510 drip tip and you can see look inside there you can see those spirals going on to enhance your flavor right so that's the drip tip there and I'm going to just get an atomizer stand before that let's take a look at the bottom there some engravings UD technology and you've got your 510 pin here gold plate or brass I think it's brass and if you notice there's uh, hardly any protrusion coming out so I wouldn't advise you to use this with your hybrid style mod do not use that otherwise you get a hard shot okay and I'm gonna screw it down so you've got your air holes here one millimeter you've got 10 of it both sides so you've got 20 and these are two millimeter diameter air holes you've got four on each side all right and over here it's engraved Anzu here it's a sample so this is a sample sent to us for review purposes I don't know if this is going to be the uh, final version and you can take off the top section of the cap held on by two o-rings you've got your airflow here as you can see my coils are right in front of it just take a look at this first okay those are your air holes 10 on each side and if you want to change out your drip tip push this out there's another there's another adapter in there and just take that out oops and it's fallen down let's get it back so this goes in like that all right and you can change out to your 12 millimeter diameter Delrin drip tip and this is how it looks like which is what I was using earlier all right so in you go these air holes looks like it's closed off but they are actually not closed off okay because this is how your airflow works. You've got this cyclops style airflow here and there's that you know depth that goes in on the top there. Your airflow goes from here, hits that wall in the middle, goes in through that hole and hits your coil directly in front. Right? So see that depth there? So it goes in from here hits the wall goes down and into that cyclops style air hole that's how it works right? and you can take this off as well that's your bottom air flow you can see the positive post inside so it goes in there and comes up through this air hole here cyclops style air hole like I said it's not going from this end to this end but instead it's going from here across all right and it hits your coil from the bottom just just let me lift it off and let you have a better look at it all right that's your air hole at the bottom there huge massive air holes all right and those are your post screws 2.5 millimeter in diameter so let's just loosen them up this uses flathead screws okay so you got to be very careful because it's got some space on it as well you see make sure you don't just poke and hurt yourself all right that's one that's another one over here but taking it out the right one yeah so let's take out the coil there and that's your post holes so this is a little bit loose i think it's the thread so don't back it up too much otherwise you know if you back it up too much you see it's gonna fall off be very careful with it all right. it's a little bit loose in that sense i think the threading is quite wide that's why right. so look, that's your airflow hole at the bottom there and you've got two one on each side I don't know really I'm not an expert so I really don't know why they put it this way 
normally goes from this end to this end okay if you know probably you could leave a comment in the comment box and enlighten me we learn something new every day and that's my other coil there so you've got your juice well at the bottom here which is about 4.5 to 4.8 millimeters in depth about this deep okay and this is where your cotton goes to so when you're dripping this is raised off slightly from the bottom if you can see that it's raised up a little bit so if I were to drip in here it's still okay it'll drip into this well here and it's not going to go straight into the hole okay since it's you know a little bit higher all right so that's your Anzu RDA and you want to assemble it back push this back all the way down you can adjust it this is adjustable yeah one hole two hole three hole completely closed all right and the top section is adjustable as well So that's your Anzu RDA. We'll go back topside. We'll vape some more and talk about it. You know, like I said, with the amount of airflow in there, this RDA definitely can chuck. I mean, the, the design is pretty unique as well. You can take off the top cap and drip if you want. Or, you know, with the uh, Delrin drip tip, what I do is I just drip right on top into it. The only con that I can find, which is not a major con out of this, is that the post screws, I find that they're a little bit loose and um, could be the threading. And if you back it up too much, it can fall off and you'll lose it, okay? They're tiny, so although you've got spares in the back, be very careful with that. Other than that, you'll like big airflow, I suppose this is it, all right? All right, now the price range for this, in the US it's, about 20 US dollars, maybe 19 something, okay, in the States. Malaysia, as usual, I'll try to keep you guys posted. Problem with Malaysia is most of our retailers, although we got so many of them here, they're posting it on Facebook and it's kind of hard to search for it on the internet if it is on Facebook. Somehow, it's hard to find it. Um, or it's not here yet, but sooner or later, it'll arrive, all right? So, I'll keep you guys posted. By the way, UD also sent me a whole bunch of stuff as well. Just want to show you one at a time. I'm just going to put this aside. They've got this toolbox here in red, very nice. And it's got this, uh, what do you call, soft material on top. And it's called the coil mate, okay? It's just unzip it and you have all your tools in there. All the things that you need to, you know, use to do your coil builds, all right? You've got um, this very handy coil jig and also comes with screwdrivers, flip head screws, flat head screws as well. And the thing nice is that they've got the UD logo that's embossed onto the uh, tool itself. Then you've got all this tweezers, your clippers, okay? And also you've got long nose screwdriver, uh, sorry, pliers. And you've got a test meter for your coils. Things like that. Cotton on this side. So this is good for, you know, carrying it around for your road trips and things like that. All you gotta do is just zip it back and that's it. You know, all in one bag, all right? So this is retailing in Malaysia as well. Um, you can find it in you know, retail shops, out there, vape shops, no problem at all. And they've also sent me a whole lot of uh, all these wire shots, okay? They're mostly 26 gauge, what do you call, twisted wires or Clapton wires. So if you wanna do your coil rebuilding, just have to carry this and that's it, okay? Again, you can find all this at vape shops, no problem at all. They've also sent me these pre-built coils in a tube like that. They're 26 gauge uh, Kenthal A1 micro coils, 
all right very easy very convenient already pre-built for you in a tube like that and you can buy this off you know in retail shops same thing drip tips Delrin drip tips in different different colors purple red so thank you very much UD for sending this to me and guys you can find all these accessories uh, in your local retail shops what else have they sent me and um, same thing they come in strips like that as well pre-built coils and you've got a little kit here with cotton and pre-built coils all this you can find it so thank you very much again uh, UD for sending stuff like that to me and uh, guys if you want to you know kept don't want to fuss of coiling yourself and things like that you can find those in uh, what do you call vape shops here so one more vape we'll call it a wrap the Anzu RDA but, let me just drip it first there you go the Anzu RDA thank you so much for watching guys Thank you for your support. Until I talk to you again, until the next one, vape safe. God bless. Bye for now.